আকাশি here so today I'm going to be doing a Chinese drama review with you guys a little FYL for now on we won't be doing any beginning reviews I mean ending reviews anymore only beginning reviews so if you guys are interested in knowing an ending review for dramas let us know in the comments below and we will go ahead and do them for you guys we'll still go ahead and do that but um, other than that hit thumbs up and subscribe so today I'm going to be going over uh, the drama called um, Boston in my heart the other title is Begonian Roach or something like that. I can't say it, but it is a total of 52 episodes and it is in the time period of the Chinese Republican era and it is a drama about romance within businesses. Yeah, so I'm going to be going over cast, synopsis, and the first two episodes with you guys. And bear with me if I make mistakes on their pronouncing their name and everything. My pronunciation nowadays is just so horrible and all this stuff like that. But let's go ahead and jump into it. So you guys obviously know why I'm going to give this drama a shot and watching it is because it's Tang Meng. And actually I saw like the trailer, music video, picture, promotion, all these stuff about two years ago and it's finally here. So the only reason why we're watching it is because it's Tang Meng. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. Tang Meng is played as uh, Lang Yuxian, and we have Li Yi Tong as Gu Hai Tong, and then uh, Hang Sang Ying as uh, Lang Yu Ming, and Zhang Yao Zhu as Long Mu Huang, and Alex Fong as Lang Xing Yin, Carmen Lee as uh, Feng Chun Yang. So, as for the synopsis, Gu Hai Tang is a beautiful young woman of a marriageable age. In search of her father's whereabouts, she arrives in Kuangyang and in encounters uh, Yuxin, the, fa the Lane's family's second son. And, and they get into an argument and get acquainted with each other uncomfortably, awkward, and everything like that. But she ends up finding work at the Lang's family um, makeup cosmetic factory and she catches the eyes of Yu Ming, this eldest son. In order to make her his bride, the family tricks Hai, Hai Tong into a fake wedding and she finds out she ends up marrying Yu Ming and she starts having hate towards Yu Xin for deceiving her for making her marry his older brother. Promising to uh, cure uh, Yu Ming's face in exchange for divorce papers, Hai Tong gains her freedom at last later on. Yu Shen is wrecked with guilt over his action and comes to realize that he is in love with Hai Tong. He starts to pursue her once more, but their, but their love is both passionate and pain sinking. After Yu Ming recovers, his obsession spirals into hatred. He becomes uh, the couple's rival in business and attempts to tear them apart. At the same time, the truth behind Hai Tong's father's disappearance begins to resurface. So that was basically the whole drama for you guys. <laughs> but I'll still go over the synopsis, with, I mean the recaps of the first two episodes with you guys. So the drama starts us off with a man and a little boy running in the forest away from another man who is holding a sword. And they, the little boy can't run anymore. So the man gives the necklace to the little boy and tells him to that they're going to split, take this necklace and give it to my daughter. Her name is Gu Hai Tong. The boy runs off and the man stays behind. Seems like he got kills, who knows. From the synopsis, he's alive probably. And then the boys tumble down the hill and into the water. Now, flash 20, I mean not 20, 10 plus years later, we see uh, Gu Hai Tong running to the train station to pick up her mother and her younger brother. She has an interview to go to, but she's going to take them home first. On the way going home, they get into an accident. Her car, her suitcase gets stolen by a thief. She ends up chasing that guy all the way to Lin Ying Chang shop and causes trouble there to finally get her suitcase back. Destroying a bunch of uh, cosmetic powder, the owner there arrives and makes her pay for it. The owner is Lang Yuxin. He takes her suitcase away from her and tells her she can have it back once she brings money to pay off the debt to him. 
she's just like whatever and takes off because she has an interview slash exam to attend to. She ends up going to the interview exam and Lang Yuxing is also there and she finds out he is the owner of that place as well. And so they end up making a deal. He will return her suitcase to her as long as she completes three tasks for him. She agrees and he gives her the first task to do which is going to an event and he said he will go along as the other two comes to him. So she returns home and have this conversation with her her brother. We find out the only reason she is in Kunyang, the city they are in, is because she is looking for her father and she must find him. The next day she goes and completes the first task for Lang Yuxing and hosting the party event. She does it, shows her talent of a makeup artist, uh, that's where her suitcase is. It's a makeup toolbox which he gives her to use because she needs to do makeup on the other ladies' stairs and stuff like that. At the end or close to the end of the event, an assassination takes place wanting to kill Lang Yushin's father and it is all due to politics. Gu Haitang ends up saving the father and he now wants to pay repay her back and because she did such an amazing job hosting the party and doing makeup on the girls, the father wants to hire her for the comp cosmetic company that she will bring great talent and everything profit to the company. Now at the event, uh, Gu uh, Back at the event, like previously at the event, Gu uh, Haitong ends up uh, doing makeup for uh, Long Mu Huang, the commander in chief's uh, daughter, and they become friends immediately afterwards. She has a thing for uh, uh, Lang Yuxing, and she, um, to get him to like her more, she hires Gu Haitong to be her personal dresser and makeup person, and she takes her to go hang out with her on her dates and everything like that. Uh, she becomes friends with her immediately and goes on um, a date with her because she is going on a date with uh, Long Yuxin and her his friend and he ends up ditching Long Moon Huang for Gu, Gu Haitong and slowly he is drawn to her as she finds him only an annoying playboy but he doesn't know yet that he's drawn to her like he's starting to like her or having a crush on her and throughout the episode you know Gu Haitong slowly recovers um, recall certain people from her memory when they came and took her father away from his, her house. I think her father was like a doctor and they came to ask for help when they just so he left on the day of her birthday and he promised he will be back which he never returned and he went missing after that and then she believes her father's disappearance is due to the Lang family which is Lang Yushin's family and she doesn't know yet she's slowly getting pieces and pieces together as a lot of other political things is happening like Lang, Long Mu Huang's father and uh, Long Yuxing's father and all these other stuff like that and we get to see how strict Long Yuxing's father and mother is to him and all this stuff like that. So that is a very short recap with you guys. As you guys know, the synopsis pretty much give away everything for you guys and a lot to this first episode is a lot of political political stuff happening. So like I said, it is in the Chinese Republican area era time and I'm not really interested in that. I'm just more interested to see what's going to happen and progress in their romance and how she ends up marrying her brother and how she's going to find her father, the divorce and all stuff like that later. So as you guys can tell, I skip through a lot. I'm just giving you guys this gyps of it and all this stuff like that. So that is the first two recap reviews with you guys. If you guys are interested in it, do check out the drama. I am going to let it sit for a while because it is a total of 52 episodes. I'm going to let it sit when a lot more episodes are in it and I can actually just skim through and watch and get the idea of what the drama is or what's happening in it. So that's what I'm aiming for. That's just how I am when I watch these type of dramas. But um, I don't want to blabber on too long with you guys. But that is it for today. And um, I will see you guys in the next drama review.